Hello, boys and girls, my name is LCC and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. We are here for the third and final part of our 2x2 Universal Jungle Tree Farm. In the first part, we have built this uh, middle section where the tree will grow along with all the redstone wiring and the collection system and everything that we need below and then in the last system we have built up this huge piston wall that is powered by flying machines in the back that will push out the uh, logs and break the leaves and then in today's episode we will focus on the uh, TNT towers that will actually break the locks. So as last time we will take this basically step by step, layer by layer and uh, go through all the components as uh, they come in. This is not the entire first level, but this way it is easier to see and uh, explain. Over there on the flying wall down there, there is an observer which will power this block when flying by, powering this line and giving a signal here and actually then sending out the signal to start the whole machine. And what happens down here, that's um, a bit tricky to figure out, but the signal goes around here, powers this piston, basically um, uh, setting this uh, clock off which then powers the uh, second part over here which is basically identical to what we have on this side uh, also uh, pushing this observer down here um, and um, well actually this one is powered from this side, which means when uh, this complete side is done, this side will be triggered again. And the triggering of this side happens through uh, this piston here. That's how it works. Uh, pushing up there. And how do I get up? Come on! Yeah. Um, pushing up, powering this repeater, which will be observed by this one. Then we have a line going back here with a bunch of delay. Pushing the observer overpowering that block, pushing this observer up, powering this line, right? And then here um, comes in the uh, second layer, and as you can see, we have a similar setup over there. The difference here is uh, over there we have only uh, one line that goes this direction and then the return line going back and on this side we actually have two lines that go back and they have different delays and that is because here in the front we will eventually have the TNT dupers and on the first shot we want to go the TNT less far, which means um, that we will shoot out the TNT a bit 
later than on the uh, second run. And uh, with this setup, uh, we do exactly that. So um, let me put in the rest of this first layer and then we can actually see how the uh, TNT uh, will be triggered. However, I will put in the TNT and the minecart um, only in the end uh, because of uh, don't want to go everything off while building it up. Complete first layer is now in on both sides and uh, below these blocks uh, there are observers pointing upwards so they actually detect uh, the lighting up of the repeaters down there and of course the repeater in the back will be powered first and then after quite a bit of delay we will have this repeater here firing which means these blocks uh, are powered and then we have one signal going into this piston and this will start the TNT duplication or will duplicate one TNT. Minecart goes on here and the TNT goes on there. And then after a bit of delay, this one will be fired, shooting the TNT out. So the uh, TNT will sit here in waiting position and then we also have a line going back here with a bit of delay and that's basically where the signal is uh, uh, taken and propagated uh, up the tower so that uh, once this TNT is fired the next one above uh, gets done and uh, it's timed in a way so that the uh, TNT uh, is shot out as fast as possible but not fast uh, enough so that one TNT explosion would interfere with falling blocks from a previous one and uh, destroy the items. So I guess uh, I will build up the rest of this tower and then we can have another look uh, putting in the critical bits and then we are good to go. The TNT is in all the way down over here and over there and the uh, easiest way to get the minecart in place is actually pushing it in from the side. So I have built here a little extension with a piston on top. Then uh, we have the detector rail uh, placing the uh, minecart and pushing the rail over. And then we can disassemble this and probably lose a few blocks in the process and fall down. Yeah, that will happen a few times, uh, but that's how you get these kind of uh, uh, TNT dupers assembled easily without the need to uh, have the a duper uh, set up uh, in a in a way that they need to be powered or pushed one time to assemble themselves. So I will put in the last minecarts and then we can give this baby a try. All TNT and minecarts are now in and we can give this tower a test run. And you will see that the first batch of TNT lands quite low. All the way down in the water 
and this is because we trigger it by uh, this button here which has a bit of a longer signal as opposed to the normal activation with the observer uh, on this block. Uh, if that happens the uh, TNT is shot out way later as we can see here in the uh, second run of the first tower and it explodes nicely at the right height. So let's prepare a bit more and um, uh, give this thing a complete test run, I think. I do have 12 saplings here, but let's turn on the system so we can get more, even though there are no saplings in the system down there yet. But luckily, I have a few more here in this chest. So let's turn on the machine and then plant some saplings. The planting is a bit of a slow process uh, if done manually as opposed to the automated uh, setup uh, in Il Manga's original form. But seeing that the harvesting takes that long, I don't think this is a big issue. And then this pressure plate will trigger the farm. As you can see, this works as expected, or mostly ex as expected. I don't always get three 2x2 two two trees, but nevertheless the harvesting works and the uh, blowing up works. And uh, then this can also be done by all three tree types. So um, we can also try the dark oak, which is another tree that can have uh, logs uh, to the side of the actual stem. And then of course there's the large uh, spruce tree uh, which is just straight up, uh, which does not really pose a problem. So for that type, we could also have created a simpler form. But this one works with all three of them. And as the sun goes down behind this hill, this mammoth project is completed. I split it over three episodes uh, to keep uh, the progress uh, in time and uh, I think that worked out well. I hope you enjoyed all three of these uh, episodes and I will see you soon in the next one. Goodbye!